of the years i've learned that there are a couple of essentials when you go ski especially with somewhere new you want to make sure that you have these items with you one of them being a set of goggles um i would suggest getting some if you can they get can get a little bit expensive but you want to try and get one that either has um two lenses one a you know pinkish color or and one that has an amber color just because um, there are times where, you know, the weather may change, it might go from sunny to cloudy, and you want that amber color for cloudier days, or even if you're night skiing, which I highly suggest if you them on you're going to offer that. Um, these pink, blue um, lens are a little bit, for personally, more ideal for sunnier days. I can see, you know, the bumps on the, on the uh, runs and things like that. It's just, they're not ideal for, again, cloudy or um, nighttime skiing for me. So I just have to tough it out uh, for now until I am able to get a different set of lens. Some of the things that I would highly suggest you take on your ski trip is some kind of backpack. I have this one from Sierra Designs that I got um, not long ago. It comes with a water bottle and it has just a small pouch here at the front and a bigger pouch in the back. And it's, um, you know, one of those um, body bags. And that way you can put some uh, power bars, some um, electrolyte packets, and um, of course your water bottle and battery packs and little things that you want to carry um, would be good because, you know, if you get tired up there, you need something to um, give you some energy. You can also get one of these um, bigger ones. They have a um, water pouch um back here so you can carry your water it does still have a small pocket at the front and it has a bigger pocket so you can put m even more things or you can get one of those regular size um, hiking backpacks um that way you know you can carry your lunch or if you want to if you don't want to rent or buy food Another option you can take is this larger backpack that has a wet pouch and it also has the h2o bag back here i don't really like to take this one to go skiing just because it is pretty bulky and i like the smaller one that i showed you earlier um the sierra mountain one because it's a small water bottle it's compact i normally just buy food at the lodge that i you know go to um it's just more convenient for me and i don't have to worry about going to rent a locker or carry something heavy with me while i am skiing another thing that i highly highly suggest that you carry with you and to any um ski resort that you go to is a helmet i have i believe the name is pronounced gyro or euro i don't not euro sorry i'm thinking about food um yeah so this one is you know pretty hard it protects your noggin you don't want to fall and hit your head on something fortunately um i have fallen a couple times and you know a helmet's always good it does have this um adjustable um thing here so you can make it tighter or looser if you want to um you don't really need to wear a beanie underneath because it is a little bit insulated here and these little things cover your ears so that's perfect for that um you know i usually just braid my hair and the have to loosen it a little bit or if i just wear you know my ponytail or something i just have to tighten it if you're like me and you're always always cold um, i highly suggest getting you a decent pair uh, of gloves. Um, these are from Columbia. They do keep me warm. They um, a little bit beat up as you can see I've been skiing for a little bit with these. Might need to get a different pair um, but they always you know just keep my hands warm and I don't have to worry about my fingers freaking getting frostbite or something. Okay the last and final thing that I would suggest you take with you on your ski trip if you can or you know if you can borrow it from someone would be a camera, a portable camera here. I have a GoPro Max and it really helps me capture some additional video on you know that I don't have to worry about. I can just click start and it'll start recording and I don't have to worry about going back and forth on my phone, taking it out, putting it back in. It can die. When I was at Alieska it was about two degrees and I had it on going for a little bit here and there and then by the time I got up to the high peak you know um the lift it was dead and i didn't realize it so i wasn't very hopeful but you know just if you have someone with you make sure they check make sure it's recording and that way you get some fun footage for your socials or what have you um i also would suggest you take an extra battery pack um for the camera that you take just because you know 
when you're recording the camera drains a lot quickly um, than if you're just taking pictures and of course with the cold the battery will just drain really really fast um, talking about that if you have your phone and that's the only thing you take with you like I said earlier just take an extra battery pack or charger and try to keep your phone somewhere inside your pocket that's warm so it doesn't drain as quickly mm -hmm.